I'm going to try to show you how to create and debug a Win32 console application with Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 edition. So first go and um, find it on your programs menu and start it up. There are several ways to create a new project. You can click the new project button or this new project button or file new project. And then make sure that you've got a Win32 console application selected and give it a name. Then when the application wizard starts, be sure that you go to next and under application settings, you have console application and empty project set. You'll have to click the empty project button. Okay, now um, we don't have any source files, so if you um, right-click on the source files folder, you can add a new item. You can also do this by clicking uh, up here on the Add New Item button, which I'll do this time. And then under Code, you want C++ file, and we'll just call it Main, and, and it will create it and add it to the project. So now it shows up over here. <clears throat> and here it is in the editor, so we'll type in our standard hello world and um, you can see that it's uh, trying to complete what I'm typing. I can hit enter and I see the one I want. Okay, now um, for debugging, we're going to want, and just for completeness and correctness, we want a return zero statement. Okay, so there we have our file. We can hit Control S to save it. And uh, now to compile it and debug it, we can just hit the green Start Debugging button. And it'll tell us that it's out of date. This means that the source code is newer than the executable, or in our case, there's no executable, and asks you if you'd like to build it. That means it'll run the compiler and the linker for us. And we'll just say yes. And now we'll see the compiler running. <clears throat> and the program runs and then immediately exits. So that, that was good. But we wanted to watch it. So I'm going to set a breakpoint here at the return statement by just clicking over to the left with the green button again. We won't have to compile it this time, and actually now we're in the debugger, and if we switch over, uh, you go to your taskbar and bring up the window, you can see the console. To terminate it, uh, don't hit the button here. Go back to Visual Studio and just continue the program. It will return from main and exit, and now you have a running program.